a pleasant but cold afternoon to you here today. Jason from Ottawa Prays. We got a semi-sunny day in January to take advantage of doing a test drive in a 1986 Alfa Romero Spider Veloce. Pininfarina built the body on this car. Physical inspection, test drive, and underbody inspection being conducted for a potential buyer out of state. If you need service like this, 800-301-3886. Please note that if you're watching this video and you're not the guy named Dan that hired me, you're looking at it much later than what Dan did. And uh, he may or may not have already purchased this vehicle, else it will just kind of serve as a commercial. So the car has a few general paint touch-ups. Uh, a few various hairline scratches, nicks, whatnot. I have still photos of all these to show the potential buyer, Dan. He has already had the privilege of looking at this car once. I don't know if he looked at it in the dark or, or light. A little touch up along the deck lid, a little chip in the, in the roof. Bumpers fit nice. They have a couple little cosmetic marks uh, both on the front and the rear. But it's a 95,000 mile or showing 95,000 miles. And I wanted to get it outside and at least do the test drive um, so that we could get a good look at it in the out of doors and then drive it. The paint peeling there. Coming down this side, a few similar flaws. There's been some paint work. Digital paint meter readings are great on the car. This side's definitely been the uh, recipient of a repaint. The readings are a little bit thicker on this side. Nothing horrific or horrendous found. A couple small little potholes in the paintwork. Again, a little touch up here, a little scratch there. Little mark here, little scratch there. A few little various marks on top of the paint. Got heated front and rear glass tinted. Factory stock aluminum wheels. Uh, BF Goodrich uh, radial tires are in really good shape. No evidence of dry cracking. Reasonable amount of tread left. They're not brand new. Heated front and rear glass, but uh, this glass has got two bullets in it bing and bang so uh, and it kind of it may or may not affect the way the glass heats power windows roll up and down nicely it's a power steering car again a few small marks in the uh, rubber look-alike painted rubber extensions of the front bumper the bumper fits like this on both sides just a little bit of a gap right there and pretty symmetrical looking left to right a very minor patina and hairline, you know, wear on the headlight bezels. Nothing horrible. A little bit of pitting on this one, if you can see that. There we go. Engine bay has uh, full oil, clean. Antifreeze looks like it's in good shape. VIN properly mounted. Not much more to talk about on the body and uh, paint. To get it out for a drive here and then we'll go in and do the underbody door skins are in very nice shape nothing odd to report in the jams original tags riveted with build date of 1285 rubber seal on the other side here is also loose kind of popped off there it needs to be glued back down car came with original gray hides and red stitching that's pretty nice um, little seat bolster wear that clutch pedal looks like it would be representative of you know 90 to 100,000 miles 095347 I got photos of the engine being stone cold on a stone cold startup the radio works the fan works the power window buttons work complementing uh, door panels there back compartment is uh, in nice shape nothing really to report headliner appears to be in pretty good shape 
No major cracks in the dash. Hop in and we'll do a cold start here. Well, I think we will. There we go. Showing half a tank of gas. Batteries charging. Good oil pressure. Temperature's not coming up yet because I just got it out here. Didn't want to warm it up. Engine sounds real good. I started it up in their warehouse, which is about 65 degrees. And uh, I noted that when I first started it up, the lights come on that should come on. There's our bright light indicator. Uh, turn signals. Those are flashing. Radio works. Heater controls are working. Fan blower is working. Light comes on. Horn works. And uh, air conditioning fan comes on. Power windows up and down. Just like that. A few other options to test, but I got to shift and drive here I'll pause till we get out on the main road clutch engagement uh, feels good not feeling any chatter but uh Three quarters of an inch of free play at the top of the pedal. Seems to hold the road nice. I have my hand off the wheel and stomp on the brakes here. Not really getting any unusual pull. Temperature still uh, remaining low. It's a two liter uh, motor, dual overhead cam motor. Five speed manual. An 86 Alpha was the very first car I was ever hired to inspect way back in 1989. Have a special affinity for this car. Feels reasonably tight. I've got a little bit of a leather squeak at my left shoulder where I feel like the seat might be rubbing against the back panel. I'm gonna pause and see if I can move my seat up. All right, couldn't find the seat adjustment on the fly traffic behind me so I'll stamp on the brakes again real quick pedal feels good when I get back I'll run through the air conditioning and a couple of the other lights and switches jack it up we'll look underneath it and see what uh, the car has to offer on the underside Temperature starting to come up, we'll let it idle for a little while. Hey, can you check my brakes for me? Yep. Thank you. Brakes are good. 
Okay, turn signals. Right blinker good. Yep. Left blinker good. Thanks, can you check the front too? Yep. Left? No left blinker. No left blinker? Right blinker's good. Okay. No left? Oh yeah, it's flashing kind of fast. Might have a bulb out. I got, uh, and then headlights. Is that, uh, that giving me headlights? No. I know that's brights, right? Oh. Those are the brights, or the quick flash. I'll have to figure that out. All right. Just not the low beams? Okay, thanks. All right, indoors, back from a test drive. Key buzzer works. Lights are coming out. I just opened up this door and restart. There we go, restart. Okay. Okay, got brake lights. So I gotta get uh, figured out how to get the headlights on and the, uh, uh, oh, there we go. There we go. All right. All right, I'm a Chevy guy. That worked outside a minute ago. I forgot to, just got done looking over the underbody and I'm on the right side, small area of uh, bubbles, a small area of contamination right here if I can get that to come into focus there and there was a another small one right here, let's see, there it is, a few hairline scratches there on the ground effects and a couple little nicks in the paint. Down beneath the underbody, this central area of the floor tubs are nice and sound. This uh, unitized frame rail comes through and actually ties in from the factory to the rear frame rail into the rear suspension jacking point. And that looks pretty stable and sturdy and then back here I kept the jack off the rear frame box so that uh, this could be seen looks like it's been repainted and sprayed but not not in a horrible um, repair like fashion and then the center of this floor pan looks like it's in good shape I flashlight to a better lighting spot there exhaust system is newer from the converter back so all along here in the inner rocker structure looks nice up here in the front there was a repair done and uh, this was not a section that was cut out and metal put in it was kind of uh, patched up it's got some soft softness to it and I could chip some of that away and uh, that would have to be kind of cleaned out and cleaned up to determine what uh, needs to be repaired might be able to order this piece of sheet metal from this flange uh, down into this area you know re do a repair section here on the side of this uh, frame rail there's a sheet metal box this is part of the um, rib that goes up and supports the head of the, uh, the frame to the firewall and there was some rust decay in that area and that was cleaned up a bit while I'm on the underbody view of the transmission it's in pretty good shape a few little drips and drops here but nothing has been on the ground where the car's been sitting for 20-25 minutes little bit of oil build up on the bottom of the oil pan but no active puddling on the floor there is a drip right there if you can see it 
right there. Changing up the view, we're over on the driver's side. Just got done looking this one over. And again, the rear body mount structure back there looks pretty nice. I'm on the leaf perch. And rails tie together, floor pan looks nice. Looks good here. We get up to the front splash area and we have a similar condition. Some uh, rust repair on the side of the rail. And that is a, that's a soft repair. And then here we have the same situation. I don't want to push too hard there. So again, I think if uh, if one were looking at purchasing this car and that was concerning, this area could be uh, cut out. You have to pull the carpet out of the car, of course, and protect for welding. I think you could section along this area. You get nice, clean, very solid metal all through here. Might even be able to get away with coming right back through here. And then come up into the inner rocker structure. The car probably collected a little mud and decay and just kind of rotted a spot right here from the splash of the tire. Not that uncommon. The flange along this wheel lip is still really nice. Plenty to weld to. I think this could be a ground out and figured out what's uh, there. It doesn't look... It doesn't look horrible. Just a little bit bloated from some uh, soft type repair material. More of a cosmetic fixer-upper. And again, a little bit of seepage, nothing really looks too different. Uh, the front end of the vehicle appears to be in good shape, let me show you. Lower bumper cover has some physical paint touch-ups, but uh, no big tears or rips. The tires look like they're wearing pretty good for whatever level of wear is on them. This lower fend aluminum housing is in a nice shape. I don't see any heavy physical road damage. It has one little uh, chipped, kind of corroded fin right there. Lower core support, lower tie bar. That's all in nice shape. I don't see any evidence of earlier physical damage to report. Stabilizer bushing links have a little bit of dry rot in them. This suspension looks largely, you know, original. Don't see any brake leakage. Um, and honestly, I don't know if I pulled over some of that seepage. I, I want to say that probably does not belong to this car because it's too far forward of the motor. So that drop of oil might not even be an honest report. Up here, there's some cosmetic deterioration where the um, upper control arm meets with the frame rail. It was hard to get a photo of, and uh, trying to visually, it looks basically like this on both sides. What looks like darkness? Yeah, there we go. Let's see if that comes in a little better. So there's a little bit of deterioration up there. There we go. And uh, so probably the car would be in order for some sheet metal repair. Um, or, you know, there's a chance that it could be driven in this condition uh, for many years and not get much worse than that, you know, if the price is right. No reason to believe that the miles aren't authentic on the car. Again, not much more here to see that mimics the other side. This uh, side apron is actually in a little nicer shape than the driver's side.
little bit of grease build up on the rear end housing could be uh, steam cleaned off and probably hasn't had a gasket since the beginning of time not a huge uh, service issue don't see any uh, brake leaks four-wheel disc system obviously and lower valance again pretty nice shape still fitted nicely some uh, various paint wear and some oxidation on the bottom of the black stripe a couple little ripples in the bumper bar uh, Jason from Auto Appraise is going to cut the video off here shortly and just uh, play with a few more buttons and switches make sure that we've got everything covered there's been some undercoating applied back here but I didn't really see where there was any big holes filled anything unusual blacked out mostly for prettiness and looks but there's an original plug present that's not all covered up and that often is often is covered up when there's a rust repair you can see they did not make the same uh, previous owners did not make the same type of repair underneath here that's how it would look stock so this wheel tub is in pretty nice shape. Up in the front passenger wheel well, there's a little evidence of decay from splash. Right in there. Very difficult to photograph without a hoist, but not horrific. And then the driver's uh, wheel well, there's some evidence of that repair that we saw from underneath. Some uh, yellow insulating um, foam or body caulk, perhaps. Splashes are nice up there. So I think if I were looking at pursuing this vehicle, and I wanted a nice, regularly use driver. Seems to run good, shift good, and brake good. Seems that most everything on the car is working thus far. A couple more things to check. That uh, I would find this a suitable candidate. The remote gas door and the remote uh, trunk pull behind the driver's seat are both working without issue. The rubber seal back here is nice. The jams are in good shape and the lip around the deck lid looks like it's in nice shape. Carpet kit looks original and needs only a little bit of cleanup. Original books. I flipped through these a little earlier. So uh, fuel injected.